how are you so in today's session we are going to talk about difference between classification and regression decision trees so decision tree basically a machine learning algorithm where we used to where we used to make a model to train on a data set where we solve the problems like classification problem and regression problem by using the decision tree algorithm so today we are going to talk about this decision tree algorithm and what is the difference between the main decision tree classification algorithm and the decision tree regression algorithm so let's get into this first of all what are decision trees if you strip it down to basics decision tree algorithms are nothing but if else statements that can be used to predict a result based on a data so basically what we are going here is like we make a model we pass our input data and we and we expect that our model gives some output and output in the sense like it gives us like prediction something like that so when we give our data and let's say in our data we have some columns and we in decision tree what we do we make a tree like structure as you can see on this left hand side we make a tree and let's say we are going to classify like if the person is survived or not in the titanic boat like or as you all know the some of people on titanic will get die and some will get survive so we have to predict who will get survived or who will get die so here it's like a algorithm a decision tree algorithm where it's saying that a, a person is survived or not so here it make an if and else set statement based on your input so is the sex is male or not is the person is male or not so if the person is not male then there is like 36% chance or 0.73% chance that it is get survived that that the person is survived and if not like if the person is uh, male and he its age is greater than 9.5 like he is an adult or adolescent then there is more chance that he is get die and if he is not if the male person age is not greater than 0.5 then it's like is a really small born child or not if the person is really small born child like he is like his age is less than 2.5 there then the chances that he that the person or the that child will get survived is high so as you can see from this decision tree we just do we just make some if and else statement using our data and we make a tree and we predict that the person is survived or not so let's move further for instance this is a simple decision tree that predicts whether a passenger on titanic survived or not machine learning algorithms can be class classified into two types supervised and unsupervised so machine learning algorithms are two type we can classify them we can divide them into two types like supervised and unsupervised supervised is like we have our input and we have also our output like if we provide our data then we know that its output is like this and we train but in unsupervised it is like the output which is given by model is true the and a model can give multiple outputs on multiple tuning and all the outputs can be true so here it's not like this is wrong and this is right and here in supervised we know that this output is wrong and this output is right next is like a decision tree is supervised machine learning uh, this decision trees algorithm uh, classification or regression both are super comes under the supervised machine learning algorithm it has a tree like structure as you can see a tree like structure with its roots node at the top so here its root node as it as at the top and here are some leaf nodes and other nodes so this is all about the decision tree next decision tree classification so now we're going to talk about the decision tree classification algorithm which is which is used to solve the problems of the classification so for it is used to solve the classification problem and a classification tree is an algorithm where the target variable is fixed or categorical the algorithm is then used to identify the class within which a target variable would mostly like likely fall 
so basically here a classification tree algorithm is used to get the target variable with, where the target variable is like fixed or categorical like uh some states number of states yes or no something like that and it is used to identify that class like categorical class like if i have four categories 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 4 and that four categories are cl our classes and and decision tree algorithm decision tree classification algorithm is used to identify that class by giving our output and it gives something like uh, deterministic like it is gives the 100% surety that it is correctly wrong or right an algorithm an example of a classification type problem would be determined who will or who will not subscribe to a digital platform or who will or will not graduate from high school so it is like it is gives us the answer in yes or no or something like that these are examples of simple binary classification we have two classes yes or no so that's why it is called as binary classification where the categories depend categorical dependent variable can assume only one of two mutually exclusive so basically we have two categories and and at a particular time we have only correct one correct output in the other cases you might have to predict among a number of different variables and some in some other cases we have to predict some number in different cases so next comes like for instance you may have to predict which type of smartphone a consumer may decide to purchase or uh, in such cases there are multiple values for categorical dependent variable here's what a uh, classific classic classification trees look like so here is like a tree where uh, it is saying that this is this person is male or this person or female so this is like a classification tree if the height is greater than 180 then we can say that he is the person is male if the height is not greater than 180 then upon the factor of weight we can say that if weight is greater than 80 then the person is male or if the weight is not greater than 80 then we can say that the person is female now a student can ask me a question like here sir you can you are saying that if weight is greater than 80 then the person is male but the female there are also females who who, who weights the where her weights is greater than 80 kg but here's this is a simple intuitive model to uh, to tell you about how a classification algorithm in its backend is look like it is not all about these numbers it is about the way how the how this classification problem is solved by using the decision tree classifier so don't go on this number we, when we gonna train our decision tree on the some data set then it will give us some good value a predictable value where if we do the if and else condition where we apply the condition and we go on a specific answer then it will give us the correct answer here it's like a fake data set then comes under then comes the decision tree regression where we solve uh, our regression problem by using this decision tree regression like we where we want some values like one two three four or well output as an integer then we can use this decision tree regression a regression tree refers to an algorithm where the target variable is and the algorithm is used to predict its value so where we have to predict the value then we going to use this decision tree regression and as an example of regression type problem you may want to predict the selling prices of residential house which is continuous dependent variable so when we have continuous when we have continuous dependent variable then we going to use this decision tree regression like something like we have to predict the price of house and then then at that time we are we gonna use this decision tree regression this will depend on both continuous factors like square footage as well as categorical factors like style of home area in which the property is located and so on so these values depend on multiple factors like the area the way the how the house is built the the area where the 
houses situated and other things like street city and some other factors next a uh, regression tree for log salary like this regression tree is look like if we get if we go to this point then we can say that the value is something around in between 0 and 0 5.0 and if we get here then values around something here and if we get at a box then a value can be around 7 so this is our regression tree look like next when to use classification and regression tree classification trees are used when the data set needs to be split into classes which belongs to the response variable where we have where we have to predict or some response vari variable like where we have only two or three classes and number of classes then then we're going to use this classification problem decision tree classification in other words they are just two or mutually exclusive in some cases they are maybe more than two classes in which a case variant of the classification tree is used then the regression tree on the other hand are used when the response variable is continuous for instance if the response variable response variable is something like price of property of a property or the temperature of the day a regression tree is used where we have to predict a value there we you can there we can use this regression trees in other words regression trees are used for prediction type problems while the classification trees are used for classification type problems so when we have when we have to predict a value we can use the regression trees when we have to classify some classes then we can use this classification algorithm then how classification and regression tree work a classification tree splits the data based on homo homogeneity of data say for instance there are two variables income and age which determine whether or not a con consumer will buy a particular kind of phone if the training data shows that 95 percent of people who are older than 30 bought the phone then the data split up and the age becomes the top node in the tree the this splits this split makes the data 95 percent pure measures the impurity like entropy or gain index are used to quantify the quantify the homogeneity of the data when it comes to the classification trees so basically when we say that a consumer will buy a particular kind of phone or not then we can split our data then we can see that 90 if the 95 percent who are older than 30 bought the phone then we can say that nine uh, if the if the person is older than 30 then then that person may buy this phone then there is 95 percent that 95 percent chance that this person that this person will buy that phone next uh, in regression tree a uh, regression model is split to the target variable using each of the independent variable after this the data is split as several points for each independent variable at such point the error between the predict predicted values and the actual values is get is squared to get a square is to get a sum of squared errors so basically in regression trees a regression model is fit on a target variable like we have some numbers of range of target variables which are depend on the independent variables that we put on and when we put on a, then when we give our independent variables we get we get some range of target variables and after that we split up the data into several points for each independent variables like for every independent variable if when we get this independent variable when we get some value for this independent variable then we go to this point and something like that we make things and at each such point the error between the when we get error between the predict and predicted and the actual value value then the error is get squared and we sum up all those errors to get to see the total error in our algorithm the SSE SSE a uh, sum of squared errors is compared across the variables and the variable or point which has the lowest SSE is chosen as the split point so basically on the factor with where the on the factor for which the SSE value is lowest um, among among all the independent variable that factor is chosen first and this factor is chosen first and chosen as a root of our tree this process is continued 
recursively and these all points are recur recursively continuous continuous till we till we get a depth of a tree till we get a tree at uh, according to the depth which we said while we applying this algorithm like when we have to apply when we are going to implement this algorithm in the in python in python or other languages then we then we specify the maximum depth and according to that depth this decision tree will make nodes up to that depth so that's all about this regression trees and that's all about the, uh, the decision tree where we talk about, first of all, we talk about what are decision trees, like how this work and what are what is going on in, in the back end and how it's look like, what is basically a decision tree. Then we talk about the, what is decision tree classification that what is going on in the decision tree classification, what, classification, what are the examples for that, how it's look like, then we're going to talk about the decision tree regression why we're going to use this regression uh, decision tree regression when we're going to use this and we talk about like how it's look like and how it predict the value then we see that when when we have to use this classification trees and regression trees and how then we see that how classification trees and regression tree work at the back end like how they make this graphs and all for the classification and regression trees. So that's all for the today's session where we talk about the difference between classification and regression decision tree. And I hope I, I am able to clear your all doubts and you will able to understand what is difference between classification and regression trees. So that's all for the today's session. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Stay motivated and keep learning.